the mysterious Son of Man. An interpretation of the Holy Bible. Foreseeing the end times of the present age, the ancient seer Daniel wrote, I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven there came one like a son of man, and he came to the ancient of days and was presented before him, and to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. This Aramaic phrase son of man became one of several titles that the Hebrews applied to a coming, anointed king whom they call their Messiah. When the Hebrew scriptures were translated into Greek, the phrase became the son of man. The New Testament books, which written in Greek, retain this phrase, Jesus sometimes spoke of himself as the son of man. Thus, in the Holy Bible, the phrase Son of Man can mean either, any human being, or the Son of Man, the Messiah, the future King of all the earth. Jesus sometimes applied to himself the title Son of Man. Jesus asked his followers, who do the crowds say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist. But others say, Elijah, and others, that one of the prophets of old has risen. He then asked them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Messiah of God, Jesus explained, The Son of Man must be killed, and on the third day be raised. He comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. The Jews understood Jesus to mean that he himself is the son of man whom Daniel described. The Jewish high priest said to Jesus, I adjure you by the living God, tell us if you are the Messiah, the son of God, Jesus replied to him, I tell you, from now on you will see the son of man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven, then the high priest tore his robes and said, he has uttered blasphemy. What further witnesses do we need, you have now heard his blasphemy. Jesus foresaw when he himself would fulfill Daniel's prediction about a son of man. The Father has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son, just as they honor the Father. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me, has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life, an hour is coming, and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live, for as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Summary Daniel foresaw a son of man whom God would make king of all the earth, Jesus applied to himself the title son of man, explaining that he would, be killed in Jerusalem, rise back to life, return in the sky, raise the dead to life, judge the dead, grant eternal life to those who honor him as they honor God. Conclusion The mysterious son of man is Jesus, the promised Messiah, the Son of God.